So we've all heard that we're not supposed to put bubble bath in a hot tub. Foam is bad. We hear that all the time, right? I've said that many times. What I've never done is actually put bubble bath in my hot tub. I've never done that once in my life, but I have seen pictures of it on Twitter and things like that. You know, yeah, it looks like fun for a party or whatever, but I've always heard it's terrible for your hot tub. But today, my hot tub is taking one for the team. I'm going to intentionally put bubble bath in my hot tub, and we're gonna discover together if I can get rid of the excess foam without having to drain my hot tub, or is draining my hot tub inevitable? That's what we're gonna discover together in real time right now. Hi, I'm Jeff Campbell from Hot Tub Owner HQ, and I'm glad you're here with me. So first, I'm going to add the bubble bath to my hot tub. As you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I do indeed always start my videos with the power off so that it doesn't kick on during the video and make a bunch of noise. So I will have to turn the power back on because I do want to agitate that bubble bath in the water quickly to get a lot of foam. And then we're going to see how we can get rid of it or if we have to drain it. But let me add the bubble bath first and then turn the power on and turn on all the jets and water features. So I only have one bubble bath and it's one that I use for my toddler to kind of help her uh, sleep better. It's a melatonin based bubble bath. It's the only one I've got. It is essential oil based and oils are indeed one of the main things you don't ever want to add to your hot tub. They can gum up your filters so I'm probably going to have to rinse my filters off after doing this. It just creates that film in the water that's not good. So we're going to see if we if we can get rid of it or not. But first I'm going to add the bubble bath to my hot tub. Probably maybe that was probably close to half a cup I would guess. Now I'm going to turn the power on and agitate it so that we can get some good foam going. Let's do that. And the jets and the water features. Now I'm going to move the camera so you can see the foam coming to life in action. Right now it still looks relatively normal but I'm guessing over the course of the next few minutes it's going to create an excess of foam. There's always a little bit of what looks like foam when you turn the jets and water features on. That's relatively normal, but when you turn them back off again, that foam should dissipate pretty quickly. This is starting to look more like bubble bath foam though. I'm going to let it go just another couple of minutes to really see how much foam is going to end up in the hot tub. Now I'm going to turn the jets and water features back off again. And as you see, that foam isn't going anywhere. So that is indeed regular foam that you don't want in your hot tub. So how can we get rid of that? The first thing I'm going to do is use a net and scoop out the excess foam. That often does work depending upon the volume of foam in your hot tub. This is a lot, way more foam than I've ever seen in one of my hot tubs. But let's try and scoop the foam out with a net and see what we can get. So I'm just going to scoop this out over the side. Quite a bit of foam, as you can see. No one will be admitted during the scintillating hot tub foam removal sequence. Okay, so I've removed most of the excess foam with the net. There's still a fair amount remaining on the surface of the water, but it's not thick like it was a second ago. Still, you don't want to leave it this way. So what's the next step? The next step is I'm going to add a water defoamer. I have this one here from Aquadoc from the Mav company. And, and if you've seen any of my previous videos, I have done a couple of review videos on their products. They did send this to me for free, but they're not paying me to make this video. In fact, they didn't even ask me to make this video. It was just an idea I thought of. But the next thing I'm going to do is add this to the water and see if this helps to get rid of the foam that is still remaining. I'm going to read the directions. I'm a guy. I don't really do that, but I'm going to do it for YouTube. It says add one to three ounces, depending upon foam intensity, circulate spa water for at least five minutes, repeat weekly or as needed. So with the amount of foam that's in here, I'm going to assume we need at least three ounces, almost a half a cup, basically. As you know, from watching my other videos, I don't usually use a measuring cup or anything like that. I just kind of eyeball chemicals typically. So I'm going to add roughly half a cup because of the amount of foam that's in here. I'm going to turn the power back on because it's currently back off again and we're going to let it circulate for five minutes and then we're going to see if it's done much. So like I said almost half a cup. I've never used this product before so it is hermetically sealed right here. Let's see if I can get this open without a tool. Looks like I can. So about a half a cup. That may have been a little generous. Now the power and the jets. And we'll circle back. So we're only about halfway through that five minute period of letting the defoamer work. And the jets are on, as you can hear, 
But what I'm noticing is that the jets are actually creating more foam as it's going. So it's circulating the defoamer, but it's also circulating the bubble bath. Now, to be fair to the Aqueduct people, their defoamer is not designed to remove bubble bath. So that was something I did intentionally, obviously. It's designed to remove more normal foam that can be caused by pH imbalances or an excess of body lotions that rinse off the skin from people that get in the hot tub, that kind of thing. It is not designed to remove bubble bath, but we are gonna let it finish its five minute cycle. And then we might repeat that cycle just to see. I was doing a little bit more scooping with the net of the foam, but it seems like it's just not working. So as you can see, there's still a fair amount of foam in the hot tub, despite my having scooped out quite a bit there on the ground. And no, it's not snow, it's central Texas and it's 70 degrees today in December. That's all foam that I just scooped out of my hot tub. But as you see, there's still a lot left in there. I'm gonna do one more round of the Aquadoc water defoamer just on the off chance that that actually can fix this issue and so that I don't actually have to drain my hot tub. Let's do one more round and I'll be right back. That time I was a little more generous than I was the first time probably closer to a cup. It's only been one minute since I added that second round. And as you can see, adding the excess actually does seem like it's working. There's very little foam left and I haven't scooped any more foam than what you just saw a second ago. That's kind of crazy to me, but I'm gonna let it keep running and see how clear this water gets. But while I'm waiting to see the full results of the defoamer, I am also gonna add some water clarifier also from the Aqueduct people. This is a liquid also and it's blue and I, I probably added about a, probably about a half a cup there. And we're gonna see if that helps to kind of, not only, the foam is mostly gone, but I don't know yet until I turn the jets off whether the water's gonna be crystal clear or not. So hopefully this will help with that. Okay, so now the moment of truth. It's been about five minutes since I added the second round of the defoamer and that water clarifier. I turned the power off, so we're gonna give it a minute for the water to kind of get crystal clear, hopefully. It does usually take maybe up to 30 seconds to a minute once you turn the jets and water features off for that water to get clear. And we're gonna see exactly how clear it is here. One thing I am noticing, I'm gonna reposition the camera here in a second. I am noticing what looks like an oily film on the water though, and that is concerning. It's also not very clear yet, but the foam is gone. That's one good thing. So now you're seeing what my water Water looks like. As you see, for the most part, the foam is gone, but there is clearly an oily film on the surface of the water, and we don't really want that. That's also probably on the filters, so I am going to need to clean those. If you've never done a filter cleaning, or you're not sure how to do it, I do have videos on that. I'm going to put one up here in the corner right now. You'll also see a link for it in the description down below. I'm just going to do a simple rinse, though. I'm not going to do the deep chemical soak, I think. Uh, it depends on how the filters feel to me, though, when I get them out of here and have them in my kitchen sink. But as you see, the water is not terribly clear. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try and scoop some of this oily film out and add more of the water clarifier and see if that helps. Otherwise, we definitely are going to have to do a water change. It's been going about five minutes or so since we added the second round of water clarifier. I did attempt to scoop out some of the oily film, but I don't know how successful that was. However, I did notice that if the water was clearer while I was doing that. So I don't know. We're going to give it just a second here and then I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of what the water looks like. I also noticed that because of the amount of foam I scooped out earlier, the water level is slightly low and I will need to top it off if we don't have to do the water change. If we're going to do the water change, obviously I'm going to drain the whole thing, fill it back up again, give it a good rinse. The other thing I noticed too is there was a little bit of foam residue on the headrests and things like that. You're going to want to rinse that off with a hose just so that it doesn't dry and kind of form it like an ugly crust, essentially. So the good news is the foam is largely gone, but there's still that oily film on the surface of the water. You're not going to want that on your skin. You're not going to want it on your hot tub filters. You're not going to want it to stay in the water. So let's give it just a few more minutes here but otherwise it does indeed look like we're going to have to do a full water change to get this hot tub back to normal. I also was going to check the chemical levels and see how the foam might have affected those, but that's kind of a moot point if we have to do a full water change. 
So the water is starting to get slightly clearer, but there is still that oil on the surface of the water that we don't want. So I don't think we have any choice but to do a full water change and a full filter rinse. Again, the filter rinse I've covered in other videos, and you can see that in the card that I put up there earlier. But the water change I'm gonna do right now, but I'm not gonna show that to you in this video. Look for that complete video next week. I hope you found this video helpful. As you can see, it is not not a good idea to put bubble bath in your hot tub and if you do for some reason or your kids or somebody like that you are going to want to do a full water change and filter cleaning afterwards to get your hot tub back to normal operating condition anyway i'll see you in the next video and again that's going to be me changing the water on this thing to get it back to normal see you then